This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another video. And today, wave 3 of the Hasbro Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Sometimes, because some, anyway, the Dicelings. Uh, this is the wave 3. And you know, here it doesn't say uh, on this one or this one, it doesn't say Honor Among Thieves, neither this one. But on the Mimic, it uh, it does, Honor Among Steve. So, I don't know, maybe it's just because some of these things were in the movies and some weren't. Which is odd, but anyway, I'm really happy to have finally the Wave 3. And these, I know they've been out for a while, but uh, my sponsor had them from a uh, another vendor that has bro because uh, he wanted to get just... A couple of those, not just, you know, solid, complete boxes, which I understand. Uh, but I'm really happy that uh, you finally got them. But what has me worried is that this I ordered probably in March. And we haven't heard anything since then from Asbro. I sent an email to them and they replied that they don't disclose information about upcoming products or cancellation or stuff like that. So I don't know. Uh, I have four of the five Chromatic Dragon. Uh, I'm missing the blue one and it would really freaking suck if I didn't get it but it's a possibility and I'll you know it's just it's too bad because I really enjoy these things and it shows uh, how YouTube uh, sometimes is really random because my first video of the wave one exploded for my channel anyway uh, got over a thousand views or actually maybe two thousand now uh, it's been a while since I checked but you know it did really well Second video, not up. So either I really sucked on my first video and nobody wanted to watch it again, it, it's possible. Uh, but hopefully these will do quite nice, uh, especially the Mimic, because the Mimic is really the unique one of the set. The other are repaints and um, retool a little bit for the Green Dragon. Before I do this review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Right, here are the wave three dice slings uh, boxes dice uh, they all came in that same Hasbro uh, paper tissue wrapping and they had the protectors on the inside that I've shown before so I've, I've skipped that uh, you have the wave one and two here uh, just for uh, comparisons later because uh, there's a lot of retools and repaints but I think it's uh, it's fun to do uh, and uh, basically just I'm gonna show you the box art while well, that was bound to happen I'm going to show you the box art for the uh, Mimic, uh, which is one of the most fun creature in Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, basically they can be mostly any wooden object. They can, uh, you know, pretend to be mostly chest because an adventurer is going to go for a chest uh, when he wants to, uh, you know, get some loot. But um, they could be a table, they could be a door frame, they could be pretty much anything. So anything wooden can potentially be a mimic, so they're very dangerous. Uh, the others, we've all seen Dragon, Displacer Beast and uh, the Owlbear, so I'll skip it. Uh, but I really like all of these. Um, the, this is the Green Dragon, it's pretty standard to what the other uh, have. Uh, you have the, uh, oh, let me find, there you go. You have a little bit of runes on the side of each uh, dice face and they're all uh, numbered like the uh, the d20s uh, so that's pretty cool lack of paint uh, as with all of these uh, the numbers could have been painted that would have been nice i would have liked that very much uh, the only paint you get is for the dungeons and dragons logo and that's pretty much it so yeah, I, they, they could have done uh, a little better for that. Uh, this is the brown Owlbear, uh, which is really the standard version. Uh, 
because the white one was for the movie. Uh, he looks, uh, you know, it looks good. I'm gonna focus a little more. Come on, camera. There we go. Um, it's uh, same problem. No, uh, no paint on the numbers. Uh, they have uh, similar runes. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's uh, pretty standard to what we've seen before. Uh, it transforms the same way. Uh, this one is different because it's the clear version. Now, anyone that played Dungeons and Dragons or has seen the movie uh, Honor Among Thieves um, might remember the Displacer Beast. It's that big six-legged uh, panther with tentacles on top. And, well, this is all wrong, but I still wanted it. Because the Displacer Beast doesn't have a shimmering image next to it. It's a copy of itself next to it which makes it hard to hit, right? And in the movie, they made it like um, the uh, Displacer Beast was projecting an image uh, from its tentacle, like a, a movie projector. That's not it either. So it's really just, you see two cat, you hit, either you hit the right one or the wrong one, that's it. So anyway, but I did like the clear plastic version, but you know what, just holding it compared to these, I feel the difference. There is a difference in plastic. But the Mimic, I think this is where it's really fun, is that they did a whole wooden layer, um, all the details, so this is all like a, it's plastic dice, but it looks like it's a wooden dice. And I think that's pretty cool. I mean, I still wish, again, it would have been painted and but we only get the uh, Dungeons and Dragons logo but it's really cool the way they did that like honestly a very different uh, dice kind of like what they did with the beholders uh, they have like those kind of scaly uh, numbers you know but not everywhere just a couple uh, so I think that's cool but this one it's uh, it's probably the most interesting uh, outside that uh, we've had since the beginning. I really like that. All right, so now I'm going to take a moment uh, just to put things away and I'll do the transformation for the Mimic because the other uh, you've seen in uh, my other videos. <laughs> Okay, for transformation is actually quite simple. Uh, what you want to do is find, uh, this is the front uh, here with the logo. Uh, so you want to pull the top and extend the thong. So that's pretty gross actually. And it's textured like there's, you know, uh, ridges on the thongs and some teeth. So that's pretty cool. Then you want to pull these out just a little bit uh, they're pretty tight they're really tight come on there we go and then you want to lift the top on each side and of course on camera I don't know you can just push it further and then yeah this part here this joint lifts them up uh, there we go so that's gonna go on the inside of the mount at this point. Like this, and then you push this down on the side. And then this you bring up and you extend a little bit so that it does give you the feel that it's a chest. Just a little bit though. I mean, yeah. But I really like the details inside. I mean, this, this is kind of extra, like they had to put something there, like tentacles and stuff. But it's a very uh, unique look. The teats, um, all painted with uh, the, the palette of the monster, really cool. You have those kind of many eyes here. I uh, could have used a couple eyeballs, but it's just uh, globes. So yeah. Or, I mean, it, this is probably the dice link that makes the most sense. In a sense that Mimic will take the shape of anything. And now that Mimic, even though we transform into an open chest, 
uh, he does transform into a die, so that's pretty cool. Uh, painting on the side, painted here, you have a little handle, looks really good. Alright, I like this. Yeah, I'm really happy to have this one. And, uh, you know, we can close its mouth if you want, because you can, you know, half hide it, but it doesn't really work. So it's either in dice or in a moving chest. So, all right, uh, final look at this guy. I'm going to transform the others and come back with some, uh, well, many comparisons. All right, and this is the Albert transformed. Uh, same thing as the white one, but he looks really good. Uh, or she does. Um, the, uh, you know, limited articulation at the leg, the head will, you know, go up and down and will turn because of the ball joint. Uh, you do have a lot of movement in the arms, shoulder, uh, the hand, well, this, uh, this movement here, but that's because of transformation. It does rotate. Not that you would actually play uh, and have a lot of posability with these guys. I mean, that's not what's uh, being uh, searched for, uh, you know, when you get this, but it looks good. I like all the feathery details uh, on the exterior. Uh, that looks good. Uh, painted. Uh, While well, the yellow and white is painted. And then all the feathers on the chest. The head sculpt is really good. I like those eyes, that beak. And to do a quick comparison with uh, the white one, it's actually a very different head sculpt. Uh, this is, I don't know, maybe Snow Owl. But uh, it looks like he's wearing, uh, you know, this one's wearing sunglasses, the white one is. But uh, it's uh, kind of, I don't know, it's hard to tell with the paint, but I think it's a, the same pattern of feathers. It could be a little different, but I, uh, no, if I look closely, it's pretty much the same. Uh, it's just painted differently. Uh, but they do have a different head sculpt, and I think that's pretty cool. And you know what, they kind of look good uh, side by side. This one doesn't want to stand properly, so that's super annoying. Uh, and then this one just fell down, oh, there we go. So they look really good together. I have to give it that. Uh, you have the traditional D&D tabletop uh, version and then the movie version. They uh, both look good. As for the clear uh, version of the Displacer Beast, eh. I mean, it's, it looks cool, um, you know, the fact that this is not a feature from the game, to me, that's kind of a, uh, not deal breaker, because I, I did get it, but it's, you know, it, to me, it doesn't really work that way. One thing that's deplorable is the looseness in this arm. I mean, it's, I can't really pose it, it, it keeps falling down, so that's annoying. This one's, uh, you know, good enough. Uh, but the fact that it's clear plastic, you miss out on a lot of the details uh, that you had with the uh, the original one. I mean, the mouth still opens. If you can see that, you get the yellow eyes. Uh, the forward legs are on one ball joint uh, right here. Actually, you can see it. And then after that, you have individual articulation at the elbows and the foot. Uh, at the back, same thing. And then you have a ab crunch. So that's pretty cool. Uh, not again that you would use it that much. I mean, I, I don't see anyone doing stop motion with this. Um, I wish that the, the tentacles would actually be more stable. And that's really annoying. Especially if you compare it with the original. Uh, they're super stable. And then you, you see all the detail of the paint, you know, on this one. So, and basically that's a, in a combat situation you would have you wouldn't see this you would see two like those one beside the other and then they would just be harder to hit but anyway and this is so annoying uh, i'm gonna check if kiki can fix that and now the green dragon D green dragons are my second favorite type i prefer the black one then the green one then the blue one then the riot one then the white one but i like the scaly details of the leg i mean it's pretty much the same stuff we've seen uh before. actually you know what let's do a comparison i think i'm lying 
Uh, the head sculpt is different. That's for sure, because all the dragons have unique heads. Uh, well, dragon type. Uh, the tail is different. So that's cool. But I'm going to bring in the others, because I just looked at the white one. And hold on. It's not the same. If you look at the legs, it's not the same scale design. It's kind of hard to see on the white one, but that's uh, different. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, all right, let me try to bring in the uh, the others. All right, so if I look at the uh, the green and the black share a similar mold in uh, tails. Sorry, it's, there's too much. So similar mold in tail and scalings. The legs are scaled uh, the same. Trying to get a good focus on the camera. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Um, uh, but the head sculpt is uh, different and underneath uh, you have the same design uh, under the neck so yeah and then the white and the red one share uh, scaling uh, pattern so yeah I guess not and then the tail yeah same tail so that's so far we have two molds of uh, different dragons um, Hopefully the blue one, if it comes out, will look uh, different. But I really like the look of the green dragon. Uh, the nice paint on the inside, uh, under the chin, right here, the yellow eyes. Uh, and then, of course, underneath here and the neck. Nicely painted. Um, Ken and I, I really, really dig this one. Uh, it's fun. And, uh, you know, this one is just a generic... Uh, green dragon uh, but I'm gonna call it Cyan Bloodbane which was my uh, favorite dragon from the Dragon Lions uh, books or saga all right well there you go guys that's gonna be the final look at the uh, the different uh, dice links from Hasbro um, so far I think you know I didn't expect much from this line when it started but I was super excited when they did announce it and so far there's just a couple things that disappointed me uh, mainly the uh, looseness and the quality of the clear plastic one uh, but otherwise uh, they all look good so thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this uh, review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment love reading those keep coming back after more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care